Hey brothers and sisters, this is Elizabeth Marie with Latter Rain 333. I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I do this video for His glory alone. If you haven't already, please go check out two forums that I started for all of you and my subscribers. One is a dream forum, so you can put your dreams or the things that the Lord is showing you and share it with all of us. And the second one is a connect with one another, safe haven connect with one another forum. Both of those links will be down below in the description box. So please go check them out. Alright, I want to bring you a Rima word that I received on the 21st of July 2022. I want to explain first, people have asked me, what is a Rima word? And there's a lot of uh, opinions about what a Rima word is. Um, for me, when I get a word from the Lord, sometimes it is like a download. It is hearing a word from the Lord. And usually it brings attention to a situation that might be happening or it might be a Rima word on a direction on what to do or what you need to be doing or go. But it usually is always backed up with Scripture or the Word of God. So that's what I received. I received the, the, um, this Rima word. And let me explain to you how that came about. Because it came about not while I was praying. Most of the things I get from the Lord, I get either at nighttime and the Lord wakes me up in the middle of the night so I can record what He shows me or a dream or a message He gave me or I get it while praying. But this this was not. This was just in the middle of the day. And this was kind of um, something that was going in my mind yesterday. And then the Lord gave me a, 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 an answer to it. So this is what was going on my going Went through my mind yesterday I was thinking why are things continuing to get worse and worse even though people are praying and people are even prophesying for a healing of the land but it has not happened there are so many voices now that are giving their opinion on what is happening but we are seeing very little movement towards righteousness we even see that people are, are prophesying that we need to to wait and hang on because vindication, justice, and restoration is coming and that all evil that has been pressing in from every corner will soon be dissolved and wiped out. But are these prophecies correct? Well, yes, they might give hope, but they also tickle your ear so you can go back to sleep and not worry about what's going on around you. So why are we seeing evil right now like never before consume the planet? We are living in the last days. So does that mean that we're just going to continue to see a quick and steady decline and we just watch it happening until the Lord comes back? Will evil just continue to take over until there's nothing left? And are we set for destruction, period? And that was the things that were going through my mind, um, kind of in a prayer as I was uh, doing my daily chores. So I asked the Lord specifically because it was pressing on my heart, it was pressing on my mind. And I was surprised, brothers and sisters, of what the Lord told me. It instantly brought wisdom and understanding to the questions and the situation. This is what I heard. I heard, and like I said, it was like a download. I heard that as long as there is no repentance, things will continue to decline. Let me say it again. As long as there is no repentance, things will continue to decline. And all of a sudden, when I heard that, I was like, what? That's all, Lord? Nothing more? Nothing more. You mean repentance would bring healing? And it just all clicked. I said, oh yes, that makes perfect sense now, Lord. Perfect sense that if people would repent, that there would be a turnaround with the wickedness and the evil right now. 
Will it stop the countdown to Armageddon? Will it stop the countdown to the last days that we're in? The Lord did show me that. That I do not I do not know that. But we know that repentance is simple. And it sim seems simple enough that if we could get the word out to people, that maybe we could see a change. Unfortunately, I felt that the Lord was saying to me, because of the stubbornness of man's heart, it is actually, repentance is actually not a simple thing. It is very difficult without the help of the Holy Spirit. And it will not come without a cost, because most are not willing to give up their sin. They love it way more than they love God or their Creator and the Lord Jesus. So without repentance, we can prophesy all day long how things are going to get better. But this is giving everyone a false hope, and it is a deception. We need repentance from the very top of the government all the way down to the town councils. We need repentance in the churches. We need repentance in schools, workplaces, and in families. This is what we need to be praying for, brothers and sisters. The scripture reference that the Lord put in my heart was found in the book of Jonah, where Nineveh was about to be destroyed by the very hand of God. However, once Jonah warned them of what was coming, they repented, and that included the king all the way down to the children. Every single person in that kingdom repented. Not only did they repent, but they fasted to show their true intent to God. And he heard. And he canceled the upcoming destruction that they were about to face. Listen carefully, very carefully to these verses. And Jonah began to enter the city on the first day walk. And he cried out and said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overturned. So the people of Nineveh believed God, proclaimed a fast, put on a sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them. Then the word came to the king of Nineveh, and he rose, arose from the throne and laid aside his robe and covered himself with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published throughout Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, neither, <clears throat> Let neither man nor beast herd nor flock, taste anything, do not let them eat or drink water. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily to God. Yes, let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands. Who can tell if God will turn and relent and turn away from his fierce anger so that we may not perish? Then God saw their works, that they had turned from their evil way, and God relented from the disaster that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. And that was in Jonah 3, 4 through 10. So brothers and sisters, this is what I'm asking. I'm asking you to join me daily in praying for the Holy Spirit of truth, to come and bring his spirit of repentance upon the land. Pray that it falls on the governments, on the schools, on the institutions, churches, children, and families, like I said before. Pray that the fire of the Holy Spirit comes down now, today, and sets ablaze the souls of people so they would humble themselves and repent and then walk in holiness with the Lord Jesus Christ.